Growing up, people always knew me to be the confident, optimistic, sunshiny person who had always got it together and even was compared to being perfect, which is far from the truth. But I'm here to testify of my real truth. Vulnerability was always very hard for me growing up because I was always the kid and the person who no one had to worry about. So I'd never had the space to share what I was truly feeling. So for years, I put up this front. Singing on stage, pursuing academic achievements, all with a smile on my face. It was like I had a mask over all of the self-hatred, painful insecurity, depressed thoughts, people-pleasing tendencies, unhealed trauma, anxiety, and fear, all hidden within. Now diving into the pandemic, it was one of it was like facing one of my biggest fears and nightmares, which was facing my own emotions and sitting within it, all alone, having to deal with all the things without distractions now that the world was put at a stop. I was afraid. I was at rock bottom. But you know what? I was met at the place of rock bottom by someone who had set me free and saved me from that. And that that was God. In the midst of this mess, sitting at rock bottom, I needed someone to pull me out, to see me for who I truly was and not for who I seemed to be. And you know what? Knowing Jesus and getting to know who he is, truly, Jesus met me at my disbelief. And as he showed me who he was through his word in the Bible, learning about being the most kind person, how he was the most humble, how he's the most accepting and incredible, resilient person to not only accept all of us who, as we are, but also who had sacrificed his life to die on the cross, to pay the price for our mistakes, for our sins, that floored me. And from then, I had built my relationship with God stronger and stronger. Learning more about him, I had finally been met at a place of true contentness in my life, feeling like I finally have purpose and that I matter because I am taken as I am, flaws and all, brokenness and all, not just for what I seem to be, but who I truly am. And that's because God set me free. Jesus set me free. So that's my testimony. If any of you guys have any questions, please ask me because I want you all to know and feel the same love that I feel from God. God bless you all. Take care. Love you.